All right, Cancer, I'm going to start off with your overall energy and then get into your person's overall energy, okay? And then we'll get into what's going on with them, see what's up. All right, so you're starting off, Cancer, with Observer, mes Message in a Bottle, and Truth Be Told. So you could be just kind of like hanging back, observing a situation, hoping some kind of truth or a message comes in to give you some kind of clarity, um, 14, 15, I feel like you're waiting for things to kind of take like forward movement here, but you are, you're just, you're just observing a situation and just hoping that some kind of message or truth comes in. Uh, let's see, what's your person's overall energy? They have to the sea. So I feel like things have been choppy waters and they really want to kind of smooth things out or just go into... Um, a calmer place, all right? Uh, they also have not for you and poised. They could be moving on from this cancer, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of what I'm seeing here. It's either that or they're moving away from somebody else and you're kind of waiting for them to come towards you. Because I do have poised here. All right, so it's kind of like trying to move away from something that's no longer for me so I can feel good about this decision that I'm making and you're kind of over here just like waiting. So we'll get into it. Could go either way. You could either be waiting for this person to come back or this person is leaving a situation to come towards you. But let's get into it and see what's going on. Current situation for Cancer and their person. Ten of Cups in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Someone, all right. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands. All right, I feel like this person is in a situation and they're not happy. They're not single. They're not happy. They're they're probably feeling stuck in something. Um, they want some kind of stable new beginning, though, Cancer. And Page of Wands, I feel like, yeah, this is where this is going. I feel like they feel a spark with you, Cancer. And not where they're currently at. I feel like you make them feel good, free. Like you put them on a pedestal, make them feel good about themselves. This is taking time, though. I feel like you're waiting you're just waiting for this person. And I'm not saying that like you're just sitting around waiting, but you're waiting for them. You're waiting to hear from them some kind of a message or phone call or some something, some kind of truth. All right, what else for Cancer and their person, current situation, what's going on? Look, it wanted to come out, three of wands, waiting. Waiting. For some kind of stable new beginning. I feel like there is a spark here. Some kind of chemistry. You're drawn to each other. Four of Wands. Okay. Give me one more. Give me one more to clarify the Four of Wands. The Magician. Okay. All right. There you are. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Ah. Three of Cups. Did this person put you in a third party situation, Cancer? Or is there... Do, 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 there's a third party thing going on here. Whichever way you look at it. Um, it's, it's weighing heavy. It's creating some kind of a burden. I feel like you waiting for this person... And them, I'm not saying they're taking their time. It's just taking, they're keeping you waiting. They're keeping you stuck. They put you in a third party. They have, they have like a marriage, house, home, children, something. <coughs> Excuse me. There's definitely something like that going on here where they're in another commitment or connection for some of you, and this is a side note that I'm picking up, it may not be all of you, you could actually be married to this person and they stepped out and they could be moving towards a third party. But 
that's not for everyone. Take it how it resonates, you guys. All right, let's see. What's blocking this connection? I mean, it could be. Let's see where it goes. What's blocking this connection for cancer? Blockages. Blockages for cancer and their person. Seven of Wands. Something is not being protected. This Two of Cups and Page of Pentacles. You two, the two of you could be a soul mate contract or energy and you just feel drawn or pulled towards each other. Somebody is stuck. Somebody is stuck. Like their hands are tied. They're not happy. They're not happy. You may not be happy either. Six of Cups in reverse. So there could be children somewhere in the mix, you know, maybe somebody doesn't want to leave a situation because of kids or um, if you have children together for the some of you where this is you're in the connection with this person, you know, it's like you don't want to separate because of kids or something like that. That's also childhood, uh, youthful, nostalgia, nostalgic, things like that. Known each other from the past. What else is blocking this? What else is blocking this? Five of Cups in reverse and Knight of Wands in reverse. Sagittarius energy. <sighs> if you're questioning this person cancer there they I don't feel like their intention is to be a player I don't feel like they're trying to play you but they're trying to avoid making either a wrong decision or causing sadness loss regret remorse here it's like they're trying to avoid that Hmm. Let's see. How does this person truly feel about you? How does this person truly feel about cancer? How does this person truly feel about you? Don't forget, you guys, the energies can be flip-flopped and reversed, all right? So I could be saying your person, but it could be your energy, all right? So Four of Pentacles kind of came out in the challenge position, all right? So... They could feel like you're still holding on, but maybe holding on loosely, you know, um, you may not be holding on to the, the hope of this coming together as much. All right. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So they feel like things are moving very slow. The hanged man, that is Pisces energy. Ooh, they, yeah. So they feel like you may have gotten the truth about something instead of waiting for the truth. You may have gotten the truth. And it's changing your perspective on things. This is how they feel about you, though, okay? And keep in mind, it's not always the truth, but it's their truth. It's how they see you feel about you, their perspective, okay? What else? How do they feel about cancer? King of Pentacles. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got a lot of Earth uh, energy coming out for you. So they feel cancer. They feel like you are very grounded, stable, methodical. You know, you don't make quick decisions you're you're very grounded you may actually have strong earth placements like an earth moon rising or even even venus it's like they see you as very just grounded confident and stable which is good you're not wearing your emotions on your sleeve you're not freaking out on them you're not you're holding it together. Strength. Yeah. See, Leo energy. They see you being very confident, courageous, strong, independent. 
you may have been their strength through this. And that's why when poise came out, you really do make them feel like their best, best selves. You know, you bring out that good side in them or that good feeling. All right, let's see. Then we have the wheel, eight of cups walking away, and then the fool, Aries energy. They think you're moving on, Cancer. They think you're moving on. You're like, you're not waiting anymore. What's this fool? Where's Cancer going? Where are you taking that? Oh, I just saw 11, 11, you guys on the, on the clock. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Pisces energy, Queen of Cups. That's you. Cancer energy, Judgment, Scorpionic energy, and Four of Cups. Ooh. They think you're walking away, Cancer, and going back to someone from your past and reconciling and ignoring them. Yeah, now they're starting to feel like you've turned away from this. Maybe because you shut down that emotion, you shut down that loving, caring, nurturing, Cancerian energy when it came to them and you got yourself grounded. You're, you're handling whatever the situation is, Cancer, I gotta say it, you're handling it well, at least from their perspective. Behind closed doors, maybe you're screaming, crying, kicking, eating ice cream, drinking, whatever. <laughs> Watching them like crazy on social media, whatever, but you're not letting them see that if you are, okay? Um, you're kind of giving them like a cold shoulder. Like, well, you don't wanna, you don't wanna do this, then time's up. Time's up, I've given you enough time. You had your chance, you had your opportunity. I'm walking away, no regrets. That's kind of the impression you're giving them, which isn't bad. Because now it might change things, but we'll see. Let's see. What's the outcome? What's the potential outcome for cancer? Keep in mind, you both have free will, so it could change, but this is where the energy is going. All right. Potential outcome. The hanged man again. Pisces energy. Change in perspective. Change in clarity. Queen of Swords. Libra. Gemini, Aquarius, the Hierophant, Eight of Cups, you're walking away, Cancer. Ooh, hold on. Commitment. If they're in a commitment, you pulling your energy back may have, like, changed their perspective on this. And now it's like, oh, I'm going to lose Cancer. I don't want to lose Cancer. I got to walk away to balance things out. Six of Pentacles just fell on the floor to balance things out. And then the star in reverse. Aquarius energy. What is that in reverse? Three of Wands. Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Magician in reverse. Oh, mama, have the tables turned. Cancer, I feel like now you're going to keep this person waiting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like now they're going to come towards you and you're just going to kind of be like, mm, I don't know, I need some time. I need some time to think about this. I need to go over my options. Well played, Cancer. Well played. Oh, I'm not saying playing games is good. I'm just saying, like, taste of their own medicine. Yeah, look, then there's going to be a transformation here. This will come together, you guys. I do feel like it will come together. Um, you're giving them a taste of their own medicine. 
I don't think they like it too much, but Scorpionic energy with the death card, transformation and ending for a new beginning and soulmate energy. So I do see this coming um, together. They have to walk away. It, I feel like it's them, but place it where you see fit. It could be both of you, okay? You could both be in a connection with someone else. Who knows? It's a general reading. Um, so place it where you see fit, but someone's walking away, possibly from a, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. doesn't have to be. I'm going to pull zodiac signs in a minute. Um, but yeah, I, I see this coming together. Free will, though. All right, biggest obstacles you're going to have to overcome in this connection. The burden, yep. Whatever this big burden is that you or them or both are carrying with a third-party situation, that's, that's the burden here. Too many people involved. All right, what else? Biggest obstacle for cancer in this connection. Laziness. Yeah, someone's being lazy. Someone needs to make a move here. Change and transformation. So the transformation is going to come. It is going to happen. There will be a change, okay? But to get to that point, this burden needs to be put down. So those are your obstacles here. All right, let's see. Anything else for cancer in love? I don't know why I'm singing. <laughs> don't know. Surrender, detach, trust, free fall, have faith, all will be well. I feel like that's what you're doing. You're just surrendering to this. You can't control it. You can't force it. You're just kind of going with the flow. Healing, self-care, time out, be gentle with yourself and your twin. I don't know if you already saw this card at the bottom, but ask yourself a yes or no question. Ready for the answer? It's yes. All right. The answer to your question is yes. All right. Let's see. What else? What else? The cancer. What else do we have? Spirit for cancer. I feel you even though we are apart. It's time for me to heal now. Mm -hmm. Healing. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I knew exactly what I was doing. The timing just wasn't right for us. Yeah, see? This is all falling into place here. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's pull some letters. Could be first name, middle name, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could just mean something to you, okay? Could be theirs, yours, whatever. All right, I have C, G, D, M, H, O, S, B, A, Y, X. So C, G, D, M, H, O, S, B, A, Y, X. All right, let's get some numbers. Numbers could be a birthday, first date, first time you met, could be an anniversary, could be um, angel numbers, could be years, months, days, whatever. Take it how it resonates, okay? All right, we have, wow, you guys, cancer, it never fails. It never, ever fails. Look at this, 11, 11. 11 three 11s and then a 10 so look up angel number 11 11 <laughs> something could happen in november or on the 11th of any month the 10th of any month or october um i'm seeing 10 10 10 10 2 look up angel number 10 10 there there's got to be a message you guys always get didn't I say I see 11, 11 on the clock? Didn't I say that earlier in your reading? An 11, 11, 11 came out. Crazy. That's new beginnings, manifestations, a new start. Guides are with you. You're, you're manifesting right now. So be careful how you think and what you say to yourself, okay? 
It might just come true. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. All right, signs you could be dealing with or it could happen in that season. So like cancer season, Aries season. Um, this could be placements, all right? So we have Pisces, Virgo, Aquarius, and Gemini. Pisces, Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be any sign, you guys, all right? Um, but take it how it resonates. That is what I have for you, Cancer.